When the women's NCAA tournament brackets were revealed, all the buzz centered around the possibility of Iowa and LSU meeting in the Elite Eight. Well, the dream matchup for fans has become a reality. Keith Murphy has more on Monday's showdown. Iowa's first national championship game found the favored Hawkeyes struggling to keep up with the underdog LSU Tigers. Caitlin Clark scored 30 points, but foul trouble and defense ended Iowa's title hopes. Record ratings and viral trash talking made rematch hype inevitable. And here it is. Um, I think it has been a long awaited rematch. And I was saying earlier how last year, you know, you give your heart and soul into something that means so much and you come up short. Um, it's, a, it's a feeling, it, it stings, but um, I think we've all kind of wanted that game back and, you know, wanted the rematch. You got to respect greatness. I think uh, Iowa is great in their own way and we're great in our own way. So we understand that and the value that we bring to women's basketball and the joy that we're bringing to fans. LSU, I mean, Kim Mulkey is a heck of a coach. Angel Reese and company, Flage, they're just a great team. And we're all really fortunate, I think, being in this era. I think it's easy to get hyped up for this game. I mean, both of us are probably really excited. Rematch from last year, probably going to have a lot of viewers for this game. Anytime you get to play a team that you lost to is um, super fun, and that's going to fuel the fire a little bit. But, you know, there's eight teams left, and we're so grateful to still be playing. The rematch here of last year's title game will attract a huge audience. It features a transcendent superstar, the defending champ, and the perceived rivalry of Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese. Now between the lines, those two will go at it, but outside the lines, it's nothing but respect. If my teammate right here went to play for another team, I'm going to be competitive. I'm going to talk trash to her just because I'm super competitive and that's what we do. But off the court, we're going to kick in and have fun. So I think that's a part of the game and just trying to normalize like trash talking is okay, but not taking it personal off the court. And obviously that has become a thing and people are just trying to make it seem like it's something. But I love Caitlin and I love her game and I admire everything that she's done. Yeah, I think for me, anytime you go up against somebody that's super competitive and you know has that same drive and will to win, um, that's what you love. That's what competitors love. Um, these type of games is what makes our game so great. Um, it's what people want to turn on the TV and watch. Um, I expect the viewership numbers to be through the roof for this. They both trash talk. Uh, they both uh, make their teammates better. They both have their teammates back. Uh, they have elevated our game to where we have people watching that never watched women's basketball before. Um, yeah. Those, those, are, those are tough women. Coach, there's so many narratives about this game, as you know. What should it be? It's a competition. It, pure and simple, it's, it's a competition between two great teams, and all the other narratives need to go out the door, and we just need to focus on the task at hand. Ready or not, Iowa, LSU, part two. Hawkeyes hope for a different ending. In Albany, Keith Murphy, WHO 13 Sports. Thank you, Keith. Iowa and LSU, the rematch of last year's championship game Monday night, 6-15, winner heads to the Final Four.